I'm Jackie Sobel, and I am the daughter. I'm David Sobel, and I am dad. <laughs> we are Sobel's Obscure Brewery. We are a family craft brewery. We have wholesale contracts in place for 11 counties here in Western Pennsylvania. And we also self-distribute our product to bars, restaurants, and local beer distributors. When the weather warms up, we do like partnering up with the local food trucks and bringing them out and serving food. Um, we do tend to have a really good community turnout. We draw people from all over. People come from our way to try our beer at a beer garden. Jeanette has a very rich brewing history, and we brought that back here. We produced the first batch of beers in over 50 years here. And when we came down to Jeanette and we saw the old department store, we just fell in love with the building. So after purchasing this massive historic department store building, 18,000 square foot, we knew that we were gonna have a big budget for the build out of it. We wanted to transform it from an old department store to an amazing destination that people could come, drink beer, listen to music, have good conversation with friends. Bridgeway Capital really helped us with the financing to be able to actually start our project. Thanks to them and thanks to our contractors, we're almost done with the build out. So working with Sobel's Obscure Brewery was actually very important to me because I grew up in Westmoreland County, actually about 20 minutes away uh, from Jeanette. We provided a $264,000 loan for them to purchase and renovate a space and the community was actually really excited to see them reactivate this building. And then we also provided them a $50,000 COVID relief loan to help them maintain operations in the middle of this pandemic. Doing a loan like this has a ripple effect. They're hiring local contractors to work on a building. They're hiring uh, individuals to work in a production facility and to work in a brew pub. And they're inspiring other entrepreneurs to go out and start businesses. Jeanette is a very proud community. There's not a lot of apathy here. Everybody is charged for revitalization. We do actually have a very large small business community here, and I anticipate over the next five years, we'll see a lot of those buildings on the main avenue opening up. <laughs>